Jody Ellis. I am an enterprise technologist and I specialize in SAP at the Dell EMC. And what we're looking at here is the ready bundle for HANA scale out. SAP HANA is an in memory database appliance. It has been introduced by SAP to accelerate their applications and accelerate analytics. One of the great advantages of HANA as a columnar row appliance is that it is particularly good at accelerating analytics and analysis of data. Whether this is in SAP's traditional business warehouse or as a front end to a Hadoop or VORA deployment, the closer that you can get the analysis to be and sit with the data, the faster the analysis is going to be. SAP are moving their customers to HANA from the existing databases, both through encouragement, through services, and also by a target of 2025 there being um, no longer support for the non-HANA databases. We'll see if that date changes, but currently that's 2025. And so many of your customers, if they're running SAP, they're going to be bombarded by information from SAP and from other vendors as to HANA. So any time that you hear SAP, please get SAP sales involved and we will help you with the technical discussion. The transactional part of SAP does not run on scale out, particularly, there are exceptions. It is the an analytical part that we will be looking at. So in analysis mode, in OLAP solutions, business warehouse, data marts, the amount of memory the, the system is holding is based off the literally the amount of data that the system is holding. So that when you have a 2 terabyte, a 4 terabyte, an 8 terabyte data set, the majority of the time that data sits in memory within HANA. And so you need a HANA appliance that is large enough in memory for that data set. The memory is related to the CPU quantity. So unlike a SQL database where you're simply adding disks, to increase the amount of data supported within HANA, you increase memory and you increase CPU proportionally. For the analytical systems, you can do that by scaling out. Scaling out means that you can keep adding servers and memory as required for the total data set. The servers themselves are from R&R 930 which is based off Intel E7 8880 or 8890 processors and with SAP's current production rules you can have 512 gigabytes of data per socket, per processor. So the R930 having four sockets supports up to two terabytes of analytical data set. If your overall need is less than two terabytes, this obviously fits into a single node and does not need to be scaled out. But as that grows, you cannot keep scaling up the analytical system. You can scale up an analytical system to an 8 socket box which is also available for purchase through Dell but as you go beyond the 8 socket you would actually have to switch back to a scale out solution and with a scale out solution you can simply keep adding two socket boxes for growth. If you have a base analytical system or data mart you can have anything from two of the servers on up 
to the 16 that are currently tested. Beyond 16 is also equally supported, it's just not tested. If you are implementing SAP's business warehouse, because of SAP considerations of the architecture of the tables, you actually start with three active data nodes plus the master. So you have effectively six terabytes of active space as a beginning entry point for BW. And if you have less data than that, say you have five terabytes of data, that's fine. You can have additional memory. So if you have uh, an analytical workload or you have a data mark workload or you have a business warehouse workload, these can be provisioned through a ready-done appliance from Dell EMC that is made up of the R930s each at 2 terabyte and they share external storage. They share external storage, a compellent SAN that is there for both availability and data store for the entirety of the system. You can go from one server up to eight servers with the initial compellent and then you would then go to the ninth server you would add an additional compellent unit. So from one to eight plus the one compellent and then the nine to the sixteen adds a second compellent and you can keep growing beyond the 16 in units of 8 as that. This provides high availability and it provides a high performance database for all analytical needs. The set of systems themselves which is sold as an appliance for scale out, it is mandated by SAP that when selling an appliance, everything that is required to run this appliance is included in it. So what is, of course, required are, are the computational nodes with the operating systems, with the HANA image, the storage, all units are connected through fiber channel to an external component storage array, and should any of the single nodes fail, the spare node can take over the failed node. And so you can deploy with one spare, two spare, etc., depending on cost versus risk. As well as providing you with the server's compute and the storage side of things, naturally all of this has to be tied together. And so redundant networks are included for the uh, internode communication, for the user access, for storage access, and for management. Sometimes when talking to customers about this form of deployment, they wonder if they can use their own storage, or use their own networking, or use their own compute. Absolutely, but not as part of the appliance. So this is sold as an appliance, it's sold as an entirety, standalone, single unit that is supported as a single unit from Dell. If a customer wishes to deploy any form of HANA uh, and yet not use all of the component parts from Dell, that would be a TDI, Tailored Data Center Integration um, Deployment, also supported but not part of this ready bundle. The people who are going to be looking at scale out again, scale out is supported for data mart, for analytical business warehouse systems, not really so much for the transactional systems, the ECCs, the S4, the CRMs of the world. So knowing what solution is being looked for, and typically a range of solutions are being looked for at a particular customer, knowing the solutions that are being run is key in deciding how to design the SAP appliance that is going to be recommended. Knowing the customer to say whether they wish, whether it is better for them to get a ready done system 
that is all in one, or piece parts that they can do themselves. This varies by customer. We have all the various parts to make it up for the essential components of HANA. We also have the component parts beyond that. We have the software and the appliances to do backup, to do data security, to do web load balancing as a periphery around such deployments. We also have the services to deploy such systems. And so the HANA can be a key part of the discussion, but it is only part of the discussion. We can also provide the customer whiteboard sessions to review how HANA fits in to their deployment, to their future, how it fits in with the roadmap, backup, disaster recovery, data optimization. There's many aspects that should be covered in, in such a whiteboard. Dell EMC have been longtime partners with SAP. Uh, we have been global technology partners since 1997 and we have been certifying our servers and our storage since then. We have record setting benchmarks uh, with the SD benchmarks which are a base for NetWeaver plus BW analytical benchmarks. This provides coverage that SAP recognizes that Dell is not just an also ran but we're a leader within the HANA space. As part of the deployment, it is better that we provide our customers with the opportunity to discuss the total picture, not simply providing a quote for an appliance of a size that has asked of us. We need to get in any sales cycle the sales specialists for SAP involved so that we can review what is wanted, see if that is really what the, the customer's best interest, see if there are other solutions that are also to be um, included as part of this deployment, high availability, clustering, whether they wish to have backup strategies, DR strategies, etc. So these are part of the architectural service that we provide our customers. And then beyond the architecture, there are a range of services which should also be offered. We can do deployment services. We can do disaster recovery services. We can go on up through the support structure, up through SAP's basis layer, and on up into application services, and in some ways beyond application services, into the corporate services and corporate aims of which solutions should be run. How do I do data cleanup? If I'm implementing new solutions from SAP, is this the time to re-architect how my corporation is running. How can I include big data into this system? These kind of things are available not only as infrastructure but as related services for that. And then you can run all of this on-premise as we are talking about with the on-premise solutions but you can also run these in the cloud or a hybrid of the two. You could have SAP solutions running on HANA on-premise, but also Hadoop Vora with a HANA Edge as a managed service integrating into your customer's existing system. So a range of infrastructure and a range of services, and I would highly recommend if you see any SAP opportunity, or indeed you'd like to discuss further the search for SAP opportunities, you either visit the Sales Edge portal or you email sapsales at dell.com. This is Jody Ellis.